how to color your hair ginger ideas on brown hair highlights. If you want to color your hair ginger and add some highlights and lowlights, the best process is to dye your hair a solid color, using a professional grade formula. It's best to dye your hair a deeper slash darker shade as your basis color for the highlights to show no the highlights should be ideally one or two tones lighter than your base color for best results. Here are some example formulas you could try, with highlights, high ionic in shade 8 RB1 part mixed with 20 volume developer as a base plus 8 CG mixed with a 30 or 40 volume developer for the highlights. L'Oreal in shade 7.43 one part as your base color mixed with one part 20 volume developer plus 9.03 mixed with a 30 volume developer as the highlight color. These formulas are ideal for those who want to achieve natural looking highlights that are just a shade or two lighter than the base color. If you want more contrast and dramatic results, using shades like L'Oreal 8.3 or High Ionic in shade 9 CG or 8G is the way to go. Alternatively you could use bleach to add highlights like the bleach suggestion listed earlier in this article but keep in mind that this might be damaging for your hair and it's hard to cover up the highlights in case you change your mind as they will most likely show up. After a few washes, the process for adding highlights is as follows. You dye all your hair a solid hair color and wait for it to dry. It's best to do it a day or two before you add highlights. Then using a hair cap for highlights or a fine toothbrush, you'll take out individual hair strands around 3 to 1 half of an inch thick. If you just want to add some highlights on top of your hair, you'll have to divide your hair into an upper and a lower part and add highlights to the higher part. For low lips, you will do the same but you will add them to the lower part slash division of your hair instead. Subscribe us to know more hair growth treatments and tips.